Hello and welcome to episode 1 of my JavaScript Noob to Pro tutorial series. In this episode we're going to take a look at the very basics of JavaScript. Um, we're not going to get too too advanced, but um, as things go along we're going to try and get into a bit more depth. Um, the only thing that I want you to know coming into this is a little bit of HTML and CSS, just the basics will do. Um, but if you don't know that, then take a look at my HTML and CSS uh, Noob to Pro tutorial series as well, and that can uh, that can get you up to scratch there. So um, the first thing we're going to take a look at is going to be the console. Um, so if you come into your browser here, and we've got a blank page open already, and you either inspect element or press F12, either should work. Then you come to the console here. Don't worry about that error message. That's just something to do with, with Firefox, I think. Um, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to try and output hello world into the console so that's going to be our first step so if we come into here I've already made a, an index.html file you can create one as well, I'm going to make my font a little bit bigger so you guys can see that and then we're going to add a script tag there we go and inside those script tags we're going to add a console.log uh, we're going to say hello world There we go, so if you save that, come in here, there we go, hello world, output to the console. And what the console is usually good for is if you're uh, if you're doing a bit of debugging, so if you want to output an array or something like that and you don't want any uh, CSS getting in the way or anything like that, or any, any HTML, um, you're going to want to output to the console and then you can kind of see what's going on there. So, um, Obviously, we don't just want to see Hello World on the console. We want to put it in the screen. We want to want to try and interact with the DOM. And uh, what the DOM is is just a document object model, and that's not going to mean anything to anyone. Um, but what it essentially means is any of the, the tags. Uh, th this is the DOM, the the page itself. So um, any tags and interact with the tags on that page. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a div tag. And it's not going to have a class. It's going to have an ID of change me. Dash me, and we're going to call it I am a DOM element. Right, so in order to interact with that, we can use a bit of JavaScript here that says document dot get element by ID, which kind of does what it says in the tin, it gets the element by the ID. So we're saying in this document, get element by ID, and that ID is going to be change me. There we go. So we now have that, um, but we can't. We have to do something with it. So in this case, what we want to do with it is get the inner HTML. So there we go. And again, by default, that's not going to do anything until we tell it what to do. You can either change the inner HTML or you can output it. And in this case, we're going to output it to the console. So what we're going to do is we're going to do console dot log, and then instead of putting uh, hello world inside console log, we're going to put this whole string here so there we go let's save that um, and what you'll notice is I put that inside the, um, the semicolon there and the semicolon just basically says that that's the end of the line uh, just for anyone that didn't know that so let's save that and come in here and there you go so you can see it's, it's taken whatever's inside that DOM element and output it to the console um, it's just plain English it's very straightforward um, but we don't want to do that. We want to try and interact with this and change it. So let's get rid of the console log for now. And in order to change it, what we're going to do is we're going to say equals and then hello world. So instead of outputting it, we're saying just make it equal to this. Save that. Let's have a look, see what it does. Right, so there we go. On load, it starts off saying this. And as soon as it runs this JavaScript, which is directly after it loads so you're not going to see see what it says here it's going to change it to hello world right so you're not usually going to want to do that on load though are you you're going to want to do it on like a button click or something like that so uh, the easiest way to do that let's just let's just add a button let's call it button uh, the easiest way to do that is just on an on click method so on click equals there we go, there's our on click attribute there. We're going to take this JavaScript. Normally, you would do this on a function or something like that, but just to keep things simple, we're going to take all this JavaScript and we're going to stick it straight in there. Uh, 
Um, we'll just get rid of the script tags. So we don't need them. Save that. And there we go. So this is no longer doing it on on page loads. It's going to do it on button clicks. So if we click this button, there we go. That's changed. So that's that then. Um, what we're going to do is we're just going to recap over what we've done here, just in case you got a little bit lost. Um, so here we've got a document get element by ID. So in this document, get the element by ID. That ID is going to be change me, and we're going to target the inner HTML, and we're going to set that equals to hello world, and then we want to do that on our on, on click method. So that that's that's quite straightforward. Um, in the next episode, what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and clean this up a bit and put the JavaScript back into the script tags and reference this from a function. And we're also going to take a look at using variables as well. So, um, yeah, follow along and um, I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. And uh, just before I go, I'd like to take a second to thank my, uh, my sponsor, a2hosting.com. I actually use them for my own VPS hosting, and the uh, the reason I like to use them is just because they allow you to scale things like the disk and uh, the RAM independently, unlike some of the competitors. Um, and their support is just fantastic as well. So if you're in, if you're in need for a decent host, then uh, follow the link in the description. And uh, thank you for watching.